fuck, dude? Look at the hood. Look at the hood. He's trying to leave, dude. Don't leave. Fuck. Seven hundred horse. Um, do you know what that? Having seen all that, um, definitely credit goes to the people who own those. I had a couple problems recently with some copyright stuff that I'm not even intended to. If you, if you want some credit on something, absolutely reach out to me. I have no problem giving it. Uh, anyway, but like I said, um, that is amazing. Like I noticed a while ago when I first saw those uh, clips, I saw it back when they first came out on GT500's Instagram, uh, GT500 Predator. Um, go ahead and check him out. Link is in the description for him, definitely. He always has some very nice pictures up there gathered all around uh, GT500. Usually right when it comes out, the footage from the track was from him. Uh, so definitely go check him out. All credit goes to that. And um, stay tuned. You'll get it from him quicker than you probably will from anybody else. But um, yeah, like I'm saying, the GT500 is a lot louder than a GT350 is. Now, people have it misconstrued that the GT350 is this loudest car, which is it's pretty loud, but honestly, it's probably around maybe a little less quiet than my car, and not a lot is really done to it at all. You still have stock cats, nothing's crazy done to it, but still from the factory, it sounds so great that it's like, holy crap, that's loud. It's an ear-catching sound, and... um the GT500, I noticed that it's, uh, it's, we all know it's not a flat plane crank, you know, it's just a 5.2 liter, it's supercharged, I uh, don't know what else is done to it, I do know that, uh, top speed is gonna be more or less, um, 214 or above, you know, it's just, um, it's supposed to be a more balanced focused car at the same time, and that's not to say that it's really gonna be straight up, oh yeah, it's not gonna be as fast as Z01, um, or as fast as a demon, but it'll be somewhere around the ZL1's range. It's not to say that, you know, I believe this car has stages on it, um, and different packages and different modes are accessible to those different stages, and the horsepower will be applicable in certain modes, and um, we're just looking at the car. It's aero built, uh, it's got that wing on it, and it's two different trim levels, I do believe. I believe there's gonna be a GT500, and I believe there's gonna be a GT500KR, um, that's King of the Road edition. That's like a homage to the original GT500. It had two different versions of it, you know. Uh, I believe the King of the Road is going to be that one that's almost stripped down and then has that fixed drag wing in the back like the ZR1 and the 1LE package on the uh, Camaro there. And so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I think this car is going to definitely be something more along those lines. I mean, I'm looking at the arrow for it. Uh, right on the front, this looks like this little coolant vent that goes straight to the uh, intercooler, as well as I think that they're going to cool down the brakes. Uh, I think they're ceramics. We did see that a while back. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. And uh, be sure to check out those channels on Instagram. Uh, this has been Sam's Thing, and um, let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about the rumor roundup of the GT500. And stay tuned for more information on the GT500, as well as cars that interest me. Thank you for watching.